Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful morning, just past sunrise. 10,374 feet. Back up here, uh, working on the uh, timber unit. Got to try to get, or got to get all of this <clears throat> timber down before the snow falls here. So I just got here. It's, it's going to be a beautiful day. It's a beautiful morning. Nice and cool, probably about 40 degrees. And uh, just letting the chainsaw warm up. You can probably hear it in the background. A couple of weeks ago, Wormski and I were up here and we uh, downed a whole bunch of timber, probably, I'm, I'm guessing, between 50 and 60 trees all in here. And uh, so it's got to be delimbed, bucked, which means cut to length, uh, and then skidded out of here, which means drug out of here, and then decked, which means staged in a place where we can load it up on the truck. I think Robert's going to show up here uh, later today, and maybe we'll work together to get some of this skidded out and decked up there so we can... Uh, loaded on a truck next time we're up here so that's my deal today i tell you that is a great chainsaw that echo it's an echo cs 590 and uh it's a it's a great chainsaw but boy is it heavy you know it's about probably 30 pounds but after you've used it for a few minutes <laughs> it feels like a hundred well, i tell you I really need a full face shield when I'm doing this delimbing because these trees are dead. These branches are dry. And instead of just, you know, they're falling off when you cut them, they, a, a billion hard dry chips come off the thing right into your face, no matter what direction you're holding the saw. So you probably hear me breathing heavy a lot on our videos. And uh, usually, it's not a problem for me down where we live uh, a couple thousand feet <laughs> below us at contentment about eight thousand feet it's uh typically not a problem unless i really exert myself but uh i suffer from exercise induced asthma and this is allergy season so it kicks up my asthma a little bit which makes it sound like i got copd or something but uh i uh I really don't, it's just the asthma kicking up and the elevation. We're at over 10,000 feet here and doing this work is not light work. I mean, it's, it's a workout. So I love doing it, but uh, that's why I probably ought to explain because you probably heard my heavy breathing on other videos and probably wonder what's wrong with me. <laughs> so that's generally it. Okay. Looks like I got three good 16 foot links out of that one, but I've started stacking some of the eight foot stuff. I'm gonna have to drag, and there's some more eight foot over there. I'm gonna have to drag the 16 footers out of here, skid them out because they're too heavy to carry. Okay, so this is the progress we've made so far. The little robber and I. <laughs> you having fun? Yeah. You can tell me no. It's okay. So Wormski, you ready for another weekend of punishment? Uh, it's gonna be Armageddon. <laughs> <laughs> Wormski's been working hard. Or hardly working. <laughs> <laughs> Wormski just had his, we just had our breakfast of champions. Anyway, E-Chip with Contentment Channel. We're back up here on the mountain and continue, and we're continuing to harvest our timber. As you can see, we got several stacks decked out here. A couple over there, a couple over here, and my guess is that's about half of it, uh, Half of what remains up here, that is. Um, we are pretty much done with this section going that way and back about 100 yards. And now <clears throat> we've got to do from about here going that way uh, back about 100 yards at the deepest. We're cutting these to 16 foot sink six lengths for the mill. <sighs> So this is how we're skidding, skidding them out. On some of them, we skid them out full length of the tree, 
and then we buck them and stack them. Others are just too big, we can't do it that way. We gotta cut them first and then drag them out. So this is how we're skidding, skidding them out. On some of them, we skid them out full length of the tree and then we buck them and stack them. Others are just too big, we can't do it that way. We gotta cut them first and then drag them out. Okay, end of the day. We tried our best. We got another pretty decent size pile. Let's get it out of the forest. We got this and then way down there where you can't see or some more. So we'll be back tomorrow. It would be lovely if we can get the rest of it out of the forest, but I just don't know. Anyway, what do you think? Can we do it, E? Uh, can we do it, Wormski? Well, if you estimate and divide it by half, no. Okay. Well, if we don't do it, if we don't do that, if we don't estimate and divide by half, then can we do it? That's inaccurate. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll just keep trying. So I brought you clear up here to the mountains, and you guys are just going to hang in the truck all day? Huh? Aren't you going to chase the chipmunks? Huh? There are elk, grouse, chipmunks, maybe even bears out here. Reba, Reba, aren't you going to go play? Roscoe? You going to go play Roscoe? <laughs> you want to face the camera. Okay, anyway, beautiful day out here, folks. Um, I think one of these piles will fill dumpy. That's about, looks about right. Um, so here's the setup. I don't think I've ever shown you this before, how we got this set up. So the pipes, you know, that hold the, that hold the, uh, the stakes, you know, that hold the logs when we're traveling also double as ramps. Uh, as the pile grows larger, I can get some of these and put them up there and make longer ramps. There's the winch, 9,000 pound winch. I've got the cord or the cable stretched over here or I'll grab the logs, run it under, hook it to that chain right there and then winch them up. And then when the first layer is done, you know, I'll lay, lay them on top of these. When the first layer is done, I move the chain on top of that layer and do it, repeat the process. Uh, I'm here alone today. Uh, <clears throat> Wormski came down sick and so couldn't help me today. So I'm going to try to get this done by myself. I've done this by myself once before and I wasn't able to get the truck entirely loaded, only about halfway. So my goal is to try to get it done. It's already two o'clock in the afternoon. It rained this morning, but uh, now it's cleared up. I, I am desperately wanting to get this thing fully loaded if I can by myself today. And if not, I'll take whatever I can get, but I do have to get this stuff out of here uh, because just this morning, I saw the first snow falling on the mountains just a few hundred feet uh, higher than us here at the very top of the Alpine. Fully loaded would be just about to the top of the cab. Maybe a little higher, but not much. So here we go. Okay, I don't know if you can hear me. It's about five o'clock. I started at two. This is how far I've gotten. So uh, it's near freezing now, but I'm gonna keep on working until I can't work anymore. I don't know if you can see it. Now it's sleep bouncing off the lock. <laughs> Time to go. I think Dumpy is part mountain goat. I don't know if the camera shows it, but this is a pretty good grade. I had it out that uh, when I get to this part of the mountain, I just put it in third gear low. Low being the low, low in uh, gear on the back axle. And uh, this thing just 
pushes right up. It, uh, it's a good climber. Doesn't overheat or anything. It just goes right up and does its thing. Well, we got a nice full load. The last time I had a load like this, it was hard getting it to slide off. We'll see what happens this time. You think I'm starting a lumber mill, huh? There we go, now we just drive away. Wormski. Hello. Are we going to make it up this road? No, we're not going to make it up this road. <laughs> we got about, I don't know, half a mile up on that snow. Uh huh. And then we hit hard pack stuff from the rear end of the truck's too light. So we literally backed down this mountain about a half a mile <laughs> on this pack. We were so close to the pitch, to the gate, One getting into turn, the turn, and we would have been at the gate. But I'm not sure we would have gotten up there anyway. Yeah, there have been some serious finagling to get up. Yeah, so looks like we're done collecting timber for the season. I bet you're happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and we had Dumpy all ready to go, uh, except for chains. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> anyway. What kind of chains can you even put on this? Oh, they make chains for it, I think. But... Uh, I, why bother? That's that wood can wait up there a season. So, anyway, let's find something else to do. Yeah.